Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Worth. Michael Keaton, Batman. Uh, Amy Ryan from The Office. Uh, Stanley Tucci from a lot of different things. And Tate Donovan from The O.C. <laughs> I know. Anyway, so uh, it's an attorney in Washington who battles against cynicism, bureaucracy, and politics to help the victims of 9-11. So it sounds like a decent story. Um... It's on Netflix. It came out in 2020, it says on here. So I'm not sure why I've never seen it before or if it's just new to Netflix, whatever. Only 2,147 people rated so far, but it's a 6.7. So hour and 58 minutes long. Let me get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea. Let you know what I think. Stick around. We'll see if it's worth it. Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick check in here. We're watching Worth. We're at the 58 minute, 6 second mark. Um, I had to stop it here. It's a, it's a depressing, sad kind of movie. Um, it's, of course, very, very interesting. This is all based on a true story. We all know 9-11, um, but evidently um, our Michael Keaton character really exists and all this happened. Um, and essentially what is happening, and this, isn't, this is just background on the story, is... You know, once 9-11 happened, the powers that be had come together and said, look, everybody's going to sue everybody. Um, and instead of having that happen, and for multiple reasons, I think they, they portray it this way, is instead of, because it's going to hurt the economy, it's going to take out the airlines, you know, um, it's going to put people, you know, so that's part of it, but then people are going to be, in litigation for years and years and years, nobody's really going to get any compensation until way down the line. Um, but they said, let's let's um, give them charity. Basically, let's pay them so they don't sue us. Um, and so that's where Michael Keaton comes in because he's done this before, but on an obviously smaller scale. But like you know, mass tragedies or like you know, like asbestos was an example. You know, whatever. So basically they go in and they determine how much each person should get. What are they worth? That's why the movie is called what it is. So, him being the, the leader of it all, they meet, they discuss, they come up with all different ideas, and they say, hey, there's essentially a formula that goes into everybody, and their worth is based off of how much money they're making, you know, and, and, and they divvy it up that way. And historically, that has been what worked for that. In this case, of course, people see it differently. And so he has opened up his office for people to come in and speak to him, you know, or speak to actually his staff. And I found this really interesting. This is why I kind of stop it here. So people are coming in and they're telling their story, you know, or the story of their loved one that died in 9-11. So there's a very emotional connection between the people coming in and his staff. But he has perfectly... Per <laughs> He has purposely stayed out of those meetings so he could stay objective. So, you know, as you can think, there's going to be all different kinds of stories. Hey, maybe I should get more money kind of thing because of the person who died. Here's their story. And as a leader, you know, like even in business, you, you, you see this and you can't make exceptions for one person or you got to do it for everybody. And then the whole formula falls apart or the whole plan that you're trying to do will completely fall apart. Uh, so it is interesting to see now what has happened now. He has finally taken one of those meetings. He wasn't in it before. He was just, you know, getting it secondhand and, and being, you know, consistent on his objectiveness. Um, you know, so anyway, but you hear these stories, which are probably, you know, very close to the truth, if not real stories that they're telling. And, uh, you know, you really feel, I mean, in the beginning, when they showed, like, at 9-11, I mean, I, the chills and everything like that, it was ridiculous. And now you're kind of reliving it through the family's eyes in some sense. And, you know, watching this back-end plot of how Michael Keaton's going to navigate paying people. So, I don't know what happens. I've never, you know, I didn't know of any of this, to be honest with you. Um, you know, so... Really, really interesting. I'm excited to get back to it. And uh, if anything interesting happens between now and then, I'll let you know. But now you have a good idea what the plot line is um, and how interesting it is, but also emotional. 
Stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Worth, and I have to tell you, really good. Uh, really enjoyed it. I loved uh, loved everything. I loved Michael Keaton. Always did. Uh, I thought he does a phenomenal job in this. Um, you know, the, the, I think the acting was was great. I mean, he really carries it, of course. But there's there's others that that did a great job. I mean, he's the centerpiece that makes it all work. But uh, Tushi was good too. Um, in his role, and it's just a, a really phenomenal story if you don't know it, you know, and that's kind of, uh, you know, I'm terrible at staying up to date on the facts and the news, but if it comes out in a movie, I'll, I'll know all about it, and so that's fantastic, and I love that aspect of it. I will say that um, the, um, the one slight negative, what do I always look for in, in movies based on true stories? Two things. I can see the blurbs up on the screen of what happened since then, and that's phenomenal. That's in this Wayne to just read that piece of it, you know, on, on what goes on. I think that's great. Um, but the pictures, I want to see the real Ken Feinberg next to Michael Keaton. You know what I mean? Like it was, uh, would have been cool. But, uh, you know, we didn't get the pictures. You know, probably because everybody else knows who they are except for me. So they didn't feel that pictures were needed. <laughs> it's probably uh, my thoughts. But, um, uh, overall, I mean, it was a well-told story, you know, I mean, definitely worth the time you put into it. The acting was phenomenal, um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, what else do you need, right? Cinematography, all that jazz? No, I just thought, you know, well-produced, well-directed, um, well-acted, and well-told, you know what I mean? Because it didn't have to be... You know, the, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and then it always comes back to what's really true and what's really... I mean, it's just phenomenal of what they did and how they made the changes in order to... to um, You know, how they made things happen, I should say, um, in this. Um, and I think what I'm, what I'm alluding to um, is the fact that they meet with everybody. You know what I mean? There's like over 6,000 people that were... Um, you know, part of this potential fund or whatever. And, uh, you know, they had to meet with anybody who wanted to, to hear their story. So imagine, you know, what that's really like. So anyway, I'm rambling on here. Uh, definitely check it out. Absolutely brace yourself for, you know, the emotion that goes along with 9-11 and, um, you know, people who are impacted by that. But otherwise, uh, enjoy everything about this movie. And it's on Netflix. Sorry if I didn't tell you that. If you didn't know that already, it's on Netflix. So if you subscribe to Netflix, you're in. The, you're good to go. So, all right, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, can't say enough about it. So hopefully that was helpful. If I was, subscribe. That'd be fantastic. Check out my other stuff. You know, tell a friend. But uh, and continue to tune in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.